look into some of the college university classes that students are taking around the world. The first class today that we're going to look at is actually Argosy University. There are several campuses located throughout the United States offering students many different degrees in bachelor's and undergraduate programs as well as offering master's and PhDs. Uh, one of the classes that the university requests that all undergraduate students take is ASP 100 Skills for Success. Here I have today with me one student who has actually taken the course and we'll be discussing some of her views and opinions on the course as well as some of the and criteria that's covered the inside the curriculum. In this class, I not only was taught and learned how to write a resume and look for a job in the field that I was seeking in the local ads, whether it be in your local classified newspapers I didn't have to apply for the jobs, but it was kind of an eye-opener to see what was out there in my community and the different things that I could put into a resume and how to tailor my resume towards the job that I was now, wanting once I earned is, my degree. Uh, one of the big things that a lot of college students deal with, uh, was there, you know, something in this course tailored towards the uh, stress of the average college student? One of the main modules that was in this class was stress. Uh, they actually broke it down into different types of stress and they identified that sometimes people stress because they're unhappy with themselves, because they're not healthy, they don't exercise, and it goes through and breaks down um, ways that you can you know, better yourself and that when you're happy with yourself, ultimately you'll come out with better goals. Another thing, and uh, they break it down into uh, each different phase and with this power method, you would essentially plan and make sure that you had um, a thorough plan for anything that could go wrong or come up and this would ultimately help you eliminate some of your stress. Now uh, can you go over some of the uh, curriculum and things that are covered in the readings and uh, maybe some things that uh, you learned from actually attending um, this course. Towards the end of the course they start to really narrow down on skills for success in the actual classroom. Um, they'll start looking at taking notes, they explain several different ways through uh, the textbook to take different notes, whether it be the Cornell note, note taking method or taking actual notes on note cards such as flashcards. Uh, it also explains, which I did quite often, was taking down everything that a professor would say or whoever was take, making the lecture, I would write down verbatim every word that they said and then when I would go back later, I'd be very confused and I couldn't understand my notes and then I would get frustrated and studying was just very hard for me. And Now, uh, what was one of the uh, first things that you guys started learning while you guys were taking this course? Another big thing that is taught in this class is the APA formatting and citations. You are to cite everything that you do so that you don't become a victim of plagiarism where you're copying maybe a friend who's done something and, in your uh, class. And again, what is uh, your opinion of this class and recommendations to others um, after you've actually completed well, I would this say course. this was a good class for undergraduate students, um, whether you've been in school and attended college with your associates and then you're jumping into your bachelor's or whether you haven't been in school for a while and you're jumping into the bachelor's, it's definitely good to review the major all of your skills and make sure the majority of what you're you know trying to accomplish your everybody's on the same page so that you know what teachers are expecting from you what some of the other students in the classroom are doing and you're not going to fall behind and you are well prepared in order to take on those classes and you know the more passes the more classes that you pass ultimately the closer you're going to get to finishing your final goal in uh, finishing your entire degree. But thank you, Kristen. This sounds like a great course and it should be recommended to a lot of students that are entering back into the college world. Thank you again for your opinions. And uh, everyone, Argosy University declares is ASP 100 Skills for Success. So uh, if this is your university, then maybe this is a class for you and something that you should try. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.